cycling in Los Angeles, conquering the various bike lanes, road rules, and hazards you'll encounter. Los Angeles is busy. We all know it. It's the 10th most traffic congested city in the world and number one in the USA. Traffic jams are impossible to avoid. If you fantasize about leaving your car behind in LA to become a cyclist commuting across LA, then it's important to know what type of hazards you might encounter beforehand to ensure your own safety riding alongside the many, many cars on these crowded streets. This video will discuss the various bike lanes you'll encounter, the rules when riding on them, and how to properly share the lane with cars. After watching this, you will be ready to navigate the road safely and efficiently. Let's jump into it, right in the heart of Los Angeles. Here we have a traditional class two bike lane. This is the most common bike lane you'll find anywhere across California. These lanes have a standard five feet of clearance for cyclists and don't share a space with on-street parking. The solid line on both sides of the lane means the vehicle cannot drive or merge into it. When you see a dashed line, cars can freely merge into the lane and potentially turn into you, so please pay attention. From here on out, you'll see many variations of this type of class two bike lane. Okay, here we have another separated bike lane with a solid line separating cars from bikes on the left, but not on the right side, indicating that cyclists must share the lane with on-street parking. A big thing here you'll need to look out for our cars pulling in and out of spots and drivers opening their car doors unaware of the cyclist speeding towards them. This could lead to a high speed impact that nobody wants. Luckily, I've never seen this happen in person, but just pay attention to your surroundings as you ride and you'll be fine. Next up, this street has no bike lanes or markers indicating it is a bikeway. So is it safe to ride on? Well, yes. You can see the right lane has ample clearance for cyclists to ride safely on without impeding passing cars. Remember, five feet is the minimum clearance, so this type of street is perfectly okay to share with cars. Just stick to the right shoulder, give the cars as much space as possible, and you'll be fine on a street like this. Here you will see a shared class three bike lane. Lanes like this are typically clearly marked with large bike symbols in the center of the lane and colored paint. Here you can ride in line with cars taking the center of the lane, giving you, the cyclist, the same rights as a car. You will find shared bike lanes like this, typically in places with lots of pedestrian traffic, slow speed limits, and generally less traffic than busy main streets. When riding in these lanes, try to match the speed of travel with the cars you're sharing with. If you find that you can't quite match the speed of the cars around you, just give them space and let them pass. If you find yourself on a side street with no separated bike lane, no markers indicating a shared bikeway and on-street parking filling up the shoulder, please ride as close to the shoulder as possible and give passing drivers the space to drive around you. Typically, in situations like this, drivers will give you a wide berth. Pay attention to each car as it approaches. Remember, it's 2020 and we all know how distracted drivers are. Safety gears such as a rear view mirror for your handlebars or bike helmet work great for situations like this. If you find yourself on a street that shares the road with cars and you feel unsafe, don't be afraid to pull over and wait for the street to clear. Once the car clears, carry on. Each municipality is different across the state, but generally, unless marked, it is okay to ride on the sidewalk when conditions on the street are unsafe, so don't be afraid to use that as a second resort. But try to always ride on the sidewalk in the correct direction of travel, and be sure to slow down as you are now riding alongside pedestrians. If you see signs indicating no bikes permitted, then you will need to walk your bike when on those sidewalks. Quick mentions, cyclists are not permitted to ride on any freeway shoulder across California unless given special access by local government officials. This is a very dangerous thing to do on your own and is completely legal. However, riding along the Pacific Coast Highway is permitted and enjoyed by thousands of cyclists per year. Okay, in the end, your best bet in this channel's recommendation for riding across Los Angeles and Southern California is to access all the underutilized separated class one bike paths in the area. These paths allow for seamless riding completely separated from cars with little to no stopping points and some stretching for 30 plus miles from the ocean to the mountains and back. These are the perfect utilities for cyclists commuting around the region. They eliminate the risk of riding on the streets for everyone. But for those times in between the paths that you must ride on streets, I hope this video cleared up what you should be on the lookout for. And I think you're ready to navigate the roads safely and efficiently around LA. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Tosk on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, ride on and stay safe.